Hi! So today I'm going to be building a family home in Sims 4, but it's going to be a haunted house, which the family doesn't know about, okay? I've got a storyline in my head, so let's get building. I'm just going to start off by making squares. We love a square, it, it really does help, but I might, do you know what? Actually, no, we'll add a circle. Where's the circle tool? I mean, that, that definitely is something. <laughs> right, do you know what? Actually, I'm gonna start again. Sometimes, do you know what? It's easier just to bulldoze and start again. I've got my shell going on. I finally figured out a shell I wanted to keep. So what I'm gonna do now is go in and roof this beast. So I wanted one of these roof pieces that are a bit curved, but sometimes it's so hard to find a piece that actually fits. So I'm gonna raise it up just a bit and I'm gonna take the circle bit and maybe move it out just a little bit. That did nothing. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna go in and grab some roof trim. And then I'm actually going to raise this up just a little bit. For windows, I want some windows quite thin to go along this bit here. We have got these pretty ones from base game actually we could use. I'm gonna go in and grab my door. I'm thinking of going for this one for base game actually. I really like the little design it's got up there and it actually matches the windows really well. We're gonna need some stairs so I might use this one from get together. I'm gonna go in with these windows from base game on the side. I'm going to add this tiny window up here because we're gonna build an attic room and that's gonna be the haunted attic aspect of the house. So my idea for the house is to be a haunted house, but I do want to make it look like a normal-ish family home. So my idea for the storyline is that this family have just moved in, this house is really cheap on the market and you know they can't afford an expensive house. So they've seen this house and been like oh my god that's a beautiful house, wow it's everything we want. Sadly it's haunted, which they don't know about yet, which makes it even worse. You know they don't know about Forgotten Hollow, and it's vampire history. All they know is that they've moved away from a different place and they're like, this is a cheap house. This is a great house. We're gonna get it. And then the ghosties appear. <laughs> Might actually change the door to this just so there's like a little bit of color. I think that looks really pretty. Okay, so now my house is done. I'm just gonna go and add some landscape. The one thing we could do is actually add all these roof pieces. We get so many in the game and I feel like a lot don't suit the houses I build, but this one, perfect for them. Definitely gonna need a chimney or three. It's an old house. I'm just going to move the house slightly back. Pop it there. Oh my god, I've got a floating window. Is this house haunted? Yes. Will it be ugly? Absolutely not. And then at the front of the house, we're definitely going to need some dead trees. I feel like the landscape speaks for itself. It's all a bit dead. So, I have a story for you. So basically I had a little switcheroo in the middle of this and I thought, right, the story is this family has moved into this house. It's been a year and do you know, they've decided the house was a bit dead and there was no pretty flowers. So this family has gone to town and they've made it pretty and colorful and basically a really nice family home. And the vampire is a bit pissed off about that because they're like, you're changing our town, we don't like it. So let's have a word with Gidri and make this house haunted. So to make a house haunted, you want to go up here and click on that and you want to change residential to the haunted house. There is something special about this place. While living in a haunted house adds an extra bit of risk, it's not without its rewards. Just a fair warning, things are going to get weird. Good luck. Okay, let's do the inside of the house. So first I'm going to go grab some lighting so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go in and add a very grand staircase. Why in haunted houses are the staircase like the main focus? Have you noticed? Like they're all really pretty. And then I'm just gonna go in with floorboards so I know what I'm doing and I have some sort of base to work with. So in my head, I'm gonna have a little room up here in the attic that they haven't ever seen before. And all of a sudden it's there after a year and they're like, what is going on here? But first let's move on and do the downstairs. I make it look like, you know, a really nice family home. So for my hallway here, I'm gonna go in and first grab a side table. We could use this one from Paranormal normal to add a bit of color actually I might yeah I might go with color I say this and then I see the gray and I'm like that's pretty I'm gonna go in and put a mirror above it even though vampires can't actually see themselves in mirrors but this is a normal family home none of them are vampires yeah or dead yeah yo oh, that blue actually doesn't make it look that scary it is from vampires oh is that a glitch oh no we have a glitch um when did I make a hole in my house 
Where are my stairs gone? I found them. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm really liking this green, actually. Okay, apparently we're going for blues and greens today. One thing I love to do is put a chair by the door. Even though, like, the Sims can't use it, in my head, they would use it to put their shoes on before they leave the house. Even though they can't do that, which is very sad, actually. I'd appreciate that as a feature. It's still nice just to add a chair there. Okay, this little corner is done over here. I'm going to turn around, and this bit is going to be like a little study nook. We actually got a new pack for free, and I really like the curtains it came with. Where is it? Here they are. Are these really pretty? And I also like that it comes with like a little piece of wood here so you can fill in that gap. Like this here, if you put that in between, like, oh god, yeah, it's not gonna do it now, is it? I'm on camera. It's like, nope, I'm not gonna work. Jesus Christ. Okay, to make it work, you need to bloody delete the wall, then move the window back. It did not like that window being there. But look how cute it is. So in my head, there's a couple of things that was still in the house when they moved in, because they're trying to save money. So this desk actually came with the house, hence why it looks very creepy and is dark. I love this rug from high school, because it comes in so many different colours. It's so nice. That green, though. So that is like a pure slithering green. Okay, so I finished the entrance. I've got the little study nook here. All the green color is coming through and we've got this little area over here. What I thought could be cute, could be cute. It's supposed to be a haunted house. What I thought that could be scary is that pictures throughout the house, some of them literally can't come off the wall. Like that is stuck. That is not coming off. So, um, that is a hint to the hauntingness that was here before. I'm going to go in and copy and paste all the curtains. I was thinking of putting this candle divider in between the curtains. Yes, it's a fire hazard, but honestly, that's the least of their issues in this house. And it looks cute. Down here is going to be the dining area. I was thinking a round table, but we've got quite a lot of space to fill. We have got this one from Laundry Day, which could be an option, or this one from Base game. We actually have this one from high school park. And then I'm going to take the chairs from Dream Home Decorator and just put them all the way around. There's probably not that many Sims living here, but it looks cute. I've added the brick in the background as a feature wall and I think I'm pretty much going to leave that like that for now. I'm going to turn around over here and do the kitchen, which is looking a bit dark actually. Now old houses tend to have really grand kitchens, which you know, I love. I love a good kitchen. Vampires actually has this really nice green swatch. Oh, okay. That is pretty. We're going for that one. We have so much room. I could even go in and add a little island here. We did get new chairs actually from the kit. These ones. I mean, they're really pretty, but I don't know if they're going to match the aesthetic I'm going for. They don't, which is fine, but I'm going to go in with these ones from University. We definitely need an oven and I always add the oven after I've added the counters. Why? I don't know. I'm going to go in with this one from base game because remember they couldn't afford to change everything in the house they stuck to what they wanted the most okay and now that i've got all the main items i want i'm gonna go in and add some clutter so i finished the kitchen i've added quite a few little clutter bits i've also added another one of those photos that they cannot remove from the wall no matter how hard they try i've kept here quite empty i don't know i quite like it let's move on upstairs upstairs we're going to have the living room and the bathroom. So over here I'm going to put the main family bathroom. We're also going to need another staircase actually aren't we to go all the way upstairs. I've actually had a little quick change so this down here is actually going to be the tiny living room. We had to remember actually that you know they're still starting out, the house isn't perfect. Okay let's do the first bedroom. This is going to be the master bedroom. So I feel like for upstairs the house is going to be a bit darker. They spent all their money renovating the kitchen that they've kind of ran out so upstairs has had to stay as it is for now. I'm gonna go in and take the wallpaper from Paranormal Park. Beds, I'm gonna go in and find one that's really old, probably not the comfiest. Oh wow, Cordelia's bed is actually a really good for energy and stress relief. Who'd have thought? I'm gonna stick to the green theme and go for this green bedding. I'm gonna bring the Paranormal side tables in, probably gonna go for the green swatch if there is. Perfect, there is. Is. Vampire clock always. It's so pretty. I'm gonna change the lighting in here and get rid of all these lights. It's crazy how just like different lighting can instantly change the bedroom.
bedroom. Over here, we've got plenty of room for some dresses. So I'm gonna find the old ones from base game. Ooh, the ones from vampires actually are really pretty. We could have a mirror in the corner. I'm gonna go in and make my own flower pot actually. So I've sized both these down. I'm gonna pop that in and then that looks so much better. Down here is gonna be the sitting area. So let's go find some old chairs. These ones from base game are actually pretty perfect for the style we're going for. I feel like I've got all the main bits I want in the bedroom. So I'm gonna go now and add some clutter and photos. Okay, so I finished the room. I've gone around and added some clutter over here. I've given them a desk. And one thing that I think is so cute and so sad is that the woman living here is trying so hard to make it nice and not as scary. So she's gone in and added some her own photos photos over here but then over here you've got the photos that cannot be moved these are actually custom content i'll leave the link down below but these swatches off here is so cool like there's so many of them i'm going to do the bathroom and the hallway quickly okay so i'm having a lot of fun with this storyline so this floor is where the family started to run out of money so whatever was there they had to leave so i've made this hallway into basically the gallery room none of these photos will come off the wall and they don't understand why obviously they're very creepy these are custom content these are from the paranormal pack but none of them will come off the wall but you can see here like the mum was like okay i'll put like a flower or a cactus and that you know might make everyone a bit happier and then i've done the bathroom i feel like bathroom and horror films are always bloody tiny so i've done this very squishy bathroom and that's all they're gonna get that's all they've got because you know money is tight upstairs we are going to have two two twins living in this house and then we're gonna do the creepy attic room that they've just discovered. I'm having the best time. I've got my layout. This is going to be twin number one and twin number two. So we're gonna still keep with the dark theme. So I've gone downstairs and bring in this wood all the way upstairs in every room. The wallpaper definitely still will be dark, but we could change the color of it. So I can take the Get Famous wallpaper in red. Oh, that's very pretty. We could use the Realm of Magic beds because honestly, these are really pretty as well. Oh, that matches the walls perfect. Now the twins living here, they are a bit older and they both have jobs as well. So they've gone out and spent a bit of money on their decor. So they're gonna have different curtains from downstairs. They've also brought their furniture from the other house. That's why they're gonna have a bit of a different wardrobe situation going on. I'm going to grab the desk from high school because we gotta remember they're still in school and we're gonna get them a nice comfy chair that they brought from their old house. I'm gonna spin around over here and get a mirror, pop that against the wall there. I'm also gonna go in and add to those pictures that cannot be removed from the walls no matter what you do. This is again custom content and it's the Dark Dream series. Ooh, these colors are pretty. But obviously they're still teenagers so they're gonna wanna put really cute signs up and make it their own. I feel like I've got all the items I wanna put in so I'm gonna go in now and clutter. So I finished the room. So basically, you know, she's got a bit of money. She's trying to make it a bit of her own as well. So we've got the makeup in the corner. We've got these really cool neon signs. Got her little wardrobe in the corner there and her desk full of clutter. But obviously this picture won't come off, it's stuck there, bit suspicious. Let's move on to the second bedroom. So this room is a bit smaller, but we can definitely still fit a double bed in. One of the sisters could have bought a new bed actually. You know, she thought, I've got a bit of money, but I don't really want anything else, but I'm gonna get a comfy bed, which is fair enough. I'm gonna pop that in the corner over here. Although some things must come with the house. So she's got this dresser over here that came with the house. I'm gonna give her an old desk. This definitely could have come with the house. This is the one from the werewolf party. But you know, she could have brought her own comfy chair. And then she definitely has a laptop for school. She wasn't too fast about her curtains. So I'm gonna go downstairs and bring these up here. She really isn't into her fashion that much. So she decided, you know what? I'll just keep the old wardrobe that came with the house. It looks quite nice. Then for side tables, she can have this trunk over here because it could be matching with her sister in the other room, which is actually really cute because they are twins. She needs the photos that cannot be removed. So let's go get some of them. We we could have the ones from spooky stuff because when you press play these will move and change and look 
bloody creepy. So that can go up there. We could have another photo of Gidry because who doesn't love Gidry? And then I'm gonna go in and clutter the rest. And then we've got one room left to do, which is the spooky room over here. So I finished the other room and here it is. So we've got some little touches that she brought from her other house. The photos that will not come off the wall. So weird. We got the little desk area over here and she's a bit messy. So we put some clutter in there. I've gone ahead and done the little hallway here with more photos that won't come off the wall. And now let's do the creepy room that's just been discovered. So this room is going to be black. It's going to be dark. It's going to be dreary. I'm literally going to put the giant curtain over that so you can't see out the window. Now you're probably thinking, how have they lived there for a year and suddenly now they've noticed it? Okay, it's a game. Go with it. I'm enjoying the story here. So shock. There's a vampire living in the attic that they didn't know of and they've been asleep for a hundred years and he's woken up and he's pissed because someone is in his house. You know, he's not a wealthy vampire. He's got a modest coffin. The house isn't in great condition. I'm gonna take this trunk from werewolves and pop it in the corner over there. I love the colors that's come in. It just reminds me of like the Hogwarts trunk so much. I'm gonna go in with this junk pile from the high school pack because there's just, just some random crap on it. And I think it looks really good in like attic sort of builds. And now I'm gonna go and add so many cobwebs, so many old looking things. Things. Maybe a few like medallions, do they call them? Or just like old statues. Honestly, I love using these cobwebs. I've used them in so many creepy builds. They're just perfect. So I can see what I'm doing. I might just pop a light in on top. Definitely loads of scratches on the wall. I'm pretty sure where is Strangerville? They have some really nice watermarks going on the walls. These, yeah. Oh, they look disgusting, don't they? Probably could get one of these in as well. Like it just looks makes the room look so much older. You can even change like the swatches of these. There we go, make it a bit more disgusting. I have a storyline. Again, yes, I know, sorry, I'm having a lot of fun with this. Basically, this vampire has been asleep for a hundred years. He's woken up, his ex-boyfriend, Gidry has decided to sell the house to new people. The vampire is pissed off and then Gidry turns up and he's like, what? What's the issue? You've been gone a hundred years. I had to make some sort of money. That's the storyline I'm going with. Okay, let me just make this look more creepy and then we'll be done with the haunted house. Okay, I have finished. This is the room. Gidry also has a favorite chair, which I think is so funny. So he's plonked himself there. He was like, you know what? We broke up, you're in a coffin. I'm gonna put my favorite chair there and I'm gonna come and talk to you even though you can't hear me. He's also placed a seance thing here. So if he wants to, he can call his other ghost buddies and get them to annoy the vampire. Yeah, that <laughs> that's the room. Okay, we'll quickly do an overview of the house. So here is the money. This is where the family spent most of the money for a nice kitchen, nice dining set, nice little reading nook over there and the small living room. Upstairs is where they ran out of money as you can can see everything is still a bit dark, not very homely. The pictures that will not come off the wall no matter what they do, but the mum's trying to add some flowers and happiness around as she goes. And then you've got the two twin girls bedrooms here. You've got one that's more dark and yellow and red. I really like that. And then you've got the dark purple one with the girls both bringing items that they had in the previous home. And then suddenly this door here has appeared out of nowhere. Turns out the vampire's finally awoken and he's pissed off at his ex-boyfriend Gidry. So this is my building a family home in The Sims 4, but it's haunted. Let me know what you think of this video down below. I had a lot of fun filming this. It's actually been a few hours since I started. So give this video a like, subscribe if you're new to help me reach my goal of becoming monetized by the end of the year. So I need a thousand subscribers to do that. And I will see you in the next one soon. Bye. <coughs> oh, I need a drink.